Today's the day. Today's the surprise day. We're going to get the surprise right now, right? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Eyelashes. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, yeah, let me tell this story. There's precursor to the story. First of all, I've been using the same tube of mascara, pro I mean, probably since we got married. Yeah. At least. Mm -hmm. Because we were poor and I was like, it's okay, I can make it stretch. Of all the bizarre things to be frugal on, I chose mascara. <laughs> So, because I'm kind of like a mascara weirdo, and I really like the Maybelline mascaras, and normally, before we got married, like, every time they came out with a new mascara, I would buy it and try it. Um, and so I had, like, two or three different ones that I would, like, layer and use. And I got to the point that I had one tube of mascara that I was, like, trying to make last for my entire life, apparently. <laughs> so the other day, we were at the store, and I was like, Derek, can I get new mascara? And he was like, convince me you need it. <laughs> He was teasing, so that we're clear. <laughs> so then we get to the aisle and I pick out my favorite one. In case anyone needs to know, it's the double-sided falsies. <laughs> and there was, I mean, you know, I like to layer. So I got the double-sided one because I was like, it's kind of like I'm getting two and I can layer them. And Derek's like, do you need another one? And I was like, I mean, <laughs> I can survive with just one. And he looks at me and he goes, I need you to be beautiful. <laughs> I need you to be beautiful. And then he immediately started laughing because he realized what he had said. <laughs> and he I meant I need you to feel beautiful. That's what I meant when it came out. I need you to be beautiful. <laughs> so I got a new one to try, which I don't remember what it's called, but it's like the fan effect one. It's really, the brush is weird, guys. Yeah? But it's kind of nice because it's really good at separating my lashes mm. because it's not a normal brush with bristles all the way around. It's got its little curved edge with just two rows oh. of spiky things oh. that are shorter in the middle and longer at the end to give you that butterfly. Butterfly effect. Fan effect. Wow. So, <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> okay, we're on our way to go get the surprise. Get out! Get, 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 get down! Get down! Get down! And chaos ensues. It's my favorite. Okay, we're going to go get the surprise. And we'll show you what the surprise is when we get the surprise. Okay, surprise, engage. Okay, everyone, I wanna show you what we got my sister for her birthday. Yes, I'm unwrapping it, don't judge me. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, what are you doing? I will rewrap it before You're we You're opening it to your her. sister's and gift. And I can show you this, don't be rude. Sorry. I can show you this because she won't see this video until after she's opened it. So, I have. we bought this amazingly beautiful frame from Walmart, mind you. Walmart has great stuff. And the quote Hashtag says, love is the greatest gift that one generation can leave to another. Ignore the fact that like my letters are so bad because <laughs> this was the first time I'd ever used the letter stitch on my sewing machine. So now we know I should draw myself like lines so that I know where all the letters should go. And then I made this little heart out of some fabric that I inherited all my grandma's fabric when she passed away. Um, and my sister lived with my grandma for a long time um, after my grandpa died, helping take care of her. And so this is, she had a dress made out of this fabric and there was some fabric left over that was in the box of stuff that I got from my grandma's house. So I made this little heart for my sister because it's been really rough on her because she just had a little bit more of a special bond with my grandma since she lived with her for so long and spent so much time over there. So. I'm trying to be cute and sentimental. Hopefully she will like it, even though it's so sloppy. I'm so embarrassed a little bit, but. <laughs> yeah. looks, it looks great. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Okay, we're gonna tell you a story. <laughs> kind of a silly story, but we're gonna tell you because we think we're funny. It's true love. True love. So, you know the like weird, not Disney, not really anything, animated film, The Swan Princess? Like kind of has a cult following. Love it. What I hear is popular everywhere, not just Utah. My friend Maddie grew up in Connecticut and she said they loved it there. So it's just this like weird little movie made by like feature family films or something, which is just like this little LES film company. Based in Utah. That's based in Utah that just makes these movies. So the Swamp Princess came out when we were little and it was my favorite movie and I would watch it over and over and over and over and over. <laughs> and so 
Swan Princess. Favorite movie. Well, guess what the prince's name is? Well, the prince's name, of course, is Derek. And I also grew up watching The Swan Princess. And I loved it because the prince's name was my name. And that was the only time that a prince's name was me. So I was like, I have connection to this movie just because the prince is named Derek. So we both grew up really loving this movie. And we listen to the music a lot because we like it. It's a musical, obviously. <laughs> and there's this part in one of the songs where the princess sings, Derek, you and I were meant to be. And Derek always makes me hold his hand and sing that to him. Yes. <laughs> but, so there's that. But, so it's Swan Princess. It's based on Swan Lake, right? So the princess's name is Odette. Well, we are giving one of our daughters the middle name Odette so that we have Derek and Odette. Because <laughs> we think we're funny. I love it. It's so special. But we were talking today because we had a professor, he was our script writing professor, who was in The Swan Princess. He voiced one of the characters for The Swan Princess. And, like, he kind of takes credit for us getting together. <laughs> Which, to be fair, a lot of things worked out because of him that we did kind of end up getting together because a lot of people struggled in his class, um, just on a like personality basis with him, I guess. Not that it was a hard class per se, but a lot of people didn't. They didn't mesh well with him. They didn't him. mesh well with him. Yeah, that's a good way to say it. But he loved me and Derek, and we got along great with him, and we did really well in his class. And then he, we took it separately though. To keep that in mind, we were not in the class together. But then he was directing one of the plays for school and for the stage management class we had taken, also not together, we were required to stage manage a show. So Derek had agreed to stage manage a show for this professor and I volunteered to be Derek's assistant stage manager because I really hate being involved in things. I love to be invisible in the theater department. Weird theater kid who doesn't want to be seen. I know, I'm strange. And so I was like, well, I'll assistant stage manage this show because I know the director, I get along really well with the director, and I won't be the real stage manager. I'll just be the assistant, which means I don't actually have to really take charge. I did, but... <laughs> <laughs> I had to work. Derek had lots of working to do. Sorry. Drink that water. Lots of talking. Anyway, so it was during this show that we were stage managing, that we started spending like time, just the two of us, for like the first time ever. So that's kind of when we fell in love. And we ended up starting to date while we were stage managing the show together. So we were talking today about The Swan Princess and how it was my favorite movie and I ended up with Prince Derek and Derek finally has someone to sing Derek, you and I were meant to be to him. Yes. And how our professor was in that movie and Derek, Tell me what you said. It was like, I'm pretty sure that God inspired someone just to make that movie just specifically for us. So there you have it. Swan Princess exists for the sole purpose of bringing <laughs> Derek and I together. Because there is no other explanation of why we're connected to that movie in so many ways other than God has a funny sense of humor and he was like, I'm going to make this movie just for them. <laughs> So you're welcome, world. You're welcome that the Swan Princess exists because of because us. Of us. <laughs> we found our surprise. Oh. Wesley! Oh. Hi. What's up? You look so glorious with the sun shining right behind you. Oh. Oh. So we came to pick up Wesley for Tanner's birthday. None of his family knows that he's coming. So it will be magical. And it will be the biggest of surprises. Sadly, he has to sit in the back seat of my tiny, tiny car. But yeah. it'll be great. <laughs> All right. I thought back about to oh, sitting in the back. Where are we going? Spanish Fork. Back I'm to Spanish so Fork. so pregnant. We brought you a surprise. A surprise? Yes. Sorry we're early, but we did bring presents. We brought you a surprise. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> present for Tanaka. For both of you. And a present for you. Oh my gosh! Where did he come from? What? Originally not Ogden. Ogden, did you saw you... today. Yeah, they just, just picked me up. You went up and got him? Yeah. <laughs> surprise! Oh, reunited and it feels so good. It's so tender. Amazing. Hi! Yay. We brought you a present. 
known as your brother. Wow. <laughs> Hi. Hey. What? What'd you say? It's my poodle. No, I love your poodle. What'd you bring? <gasps> a stitch? He's my favorite. Yeah, me too. I like the movie where his eyes turn green. Yeah? That's a good movie, huh? I love that stitch. Mom, Hi. Mom did tell me. Hi. We ready to sing? <laughs> Yes. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Tanika. Happy birthday to you. You can just call me mom. Yay! Yay! I just returned. Say yay! Do that! Yay! Birthday. The next book in the Princess. What are they called? Diaries. No, Princess Diaries series. Oh. Cow. I started reading those. Is it like Cabot or like Cabot? Yeah, Cabot, I would assume. Mm, well, Cabot. Why would I say it Cabot? So did I. Uh, I made it French. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> no, mm, Cabot. Thank you, Wesley. It's Cabot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you might get it. So. <laughs> You're my guinea pig. Um, yeah, I got some, but they, these ones came from the dollar store. Okay. And I'm like, I want to see if, there's, if they work. If they, because okay. the ones I have, I got for Christmas. And they like the no so slip? Like, yeah, and they're Ooh. really cool. They're what? They're, they're no velvet, slip. so they won't slip. No, so things, that would be nice. Yeah. Oh, we have a few of those. Like mm -hmm. wide neck sweaters that are always yeah. falling off. The so this is supposed to awesome. open that. So if they, if they work well, We'll know that we can just get some dolls so we don't have to buy the expensive ones. Or China. Ooh, thank you. And it's gonna match my kitchen. <gasps> Not that I have an actual. Now don't use them in the blender, please, or whatever the mixer. Mm, was that this one? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I was trying to put some extra flour in. That's right. Just destroyed. Fly it. across the room. <laughs> That was the end of my half cup measure. <laughs> 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 Honey. Oh, she lost the the oh, there's still more. Oh, and a sweater. Thank you. Thank you. Peaching with my microphone. Aww. Thank you. Two and a We did it! <laughs> you made him cry. Oh, I'm so zoomed in. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. It says, love is the greatest gift that one generation can leave to another. And I made a little heart out of one of the fabrics Grandma made a dress out of. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. I didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> I said, do the blue thread. Do the navy thread. He picked the thread color and he helped me pick the frame. Yeah. Could you put it on the counter? On the counter? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> getting cozy. Getting cozy. Uh, Liesl actually made up that song, so maybe she should sing it for you. Honey! I want you to sing your getting cozy song for the people. Thanks for Oh, this little one loves pipe cleaners. I'm pretty sure it's Like just... a pipe cleaner is his favorite toy. Getting cozy, getting cozy. <laughs> it wasn't really a song. Yeah, it, it was. like a chant. <laughs> getting cozy. Getting cozy, getting so, cozy. That's what we're doing. We got in our PJs. It's because my tights were too tight on my babies. Yeah. And it's a little cold in here. It is a little chilly. Turn the heater up a little. How how much? 69. Oh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> Derek always turns up to like 75. It's because when I turn it up to 75, I go in our bedroom, which has two brick that's walls. That's true. The bedroom's really cold. And it's like, I mean, it's you 20 really degrees in Utah right now. The, on the outside of our apartment is cinder block, and you can't insulate cinder yeah. block. So the bricks get cold, and yeah. then the room is just cold, and it's hopeless. So I always want to like go in the bedroom and hang out in the bedroom because the bed is comfy. Like, why would you not want to be in there? The couch is comfy. But I also like the bed. Anyway, and so I turn up to 75, so the room can be like at least 70. Because <laughs> it's like 60 in there all the time. Anyway, what a fun day. What a great success with our surprises. Wait, they were such a success. We made two people cry today. So I would call that a successful day. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, well, it's National Puzzle Day. Sorry. We're not gonna do a puzzle. These will have some homework. We might. Maybe. Do a little bit of a puzzle. Not so like, should I wait? I don't think we'll finish a puzzle. Should we not end the video right now? It's up to you. If we do a puzzle, I don't think we'll finish it, obviously, tonight. True. But. I wanna do this one. 
Let's show the people what that I want to do. That's, that's yeah. It's a Sherlock Holmes puzzle that there's like a mystery that you have to solve. You read the story, you assemble the puzzle, and then you solve the mystery. What? Anyway, if you can't tell, we're quite old souls and love to do puzzles. Keeps our minds from getting dementia, okay? That's true. My dad says if we always do new puzzles, it will help us prevent dementia because it's like problem solving. Yeah. Either we have that one or we have like nine Disney puzzles that we haven't done. We have some like little ones if we wanted to finish one tonight. We have oh, like yeah. a, some of the, I, those like beach ones that and I got button you one. and the button one that kind of yeah, came Yeah, that's right. So it's National Puzzle Day, so we're going to do a puzzle. I think we should start one. Great. So that's what we're going to do for the rest of the night. Hello, little kitty. You like your pipe cleaner? He's obsessed with pipe he cleaners. Loved, like, who knew that we could just buy a dollar pack of pipe cleaners and he'd be happy? And this is, like, the only one he's ever played with. He loves it. I mean, pipe cleaners, I don't know. He always loses it under the two bedrooms he's not allowed in, though. The sewing room in my office. He shoves it under the door and then he can never get to it. So, hopefully this one stays out here. It's time to say goodbye. Bye, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Oh, this kitty. Okay. Hi. Hello. Get it. Okay. Have you, ever, have you given little Lionel say hello? Oh. Lionel? Lionel? Hey. Lionel? Hi. Lionel? He's loafing right now. I love when he loafs. We call it loafing because he looks like a loaf of bread. <laughs> he tucks his paws all under him. And, and he looks like a loaf of bread. Oh, hi. I want to get a glass table and have him sit on the glass table and then I'll so get underneath it. So I can see his little... Okay, welcome to all you newcomers. Thanks for subscribing to us. We appreciate that. They keep coming. You keep finding us somehow or another. So we appreciate your joining our crazy lives. Um, what's tomorrow, National Holiday? Tomorrow is National Croissant Day. National Croissant Day. And National Bubble Wrap Appreciation Day. <laughs> I'm just gonna go buy a thing of bubble wrap and we'll just pop it. And insane answering message day. Insane answering message day. So change your answering machine. Change your answering say machine. Say something weird. Go crazy. Go insane a little bit. Have I a guess. croissant for breakfast. Have a croissant. <laughs> and pop some bubble wrap. Yep, that's what tomorrow is. I'm excited for Tuesday because Tuesday is Inspire Your Heart with Art Day. <gasps> inspire Your Heart with Art. Uh, Let's paint. I, I feel like it calls for another Bob Ross night. <gasps> you guys. If you haven't searched our channel and found our Bob Ross, <laughs> we called it the Bob Ross Challenge, I'm gonna link it. Um, also, just to give you a forewarning slash disclaimer, we like to entitle our paintings The Soviet Sunrise <laughs> because ours didn't turn out even the same colors. No, as they were not the same colors. It was not good at all. Um, so go watch the linked video. It's gonna be up in the corner where like the little links pop up. And then I'll put it down below too. Go watch our Bob Ross challenge because it's <laughs> pretty funny. <laughs> he goes so fast. We're not that bad of painters, you know. Not, no, no, but not really. But he goes so fast and his oil paints are so hard to work with if you're not a painter. Because like, what do we know about oil paint? Nothing. Nothing. You can't wash it out with water. Anyway, go watch Bob Ross. Maybe we'll do a Bob Ross challenge again on Tuesday for everyone. Because those are fun. Those are really fun. If you ha need like a date night idea, just turn on Bob Ross. It's on Netflix, on Netflix and try and paint one of his paintings with him. It's super funny. It's fun. We'll just do acrylic paints this time though. Do you think acrylic will work with the weird like things that we made the mountains with? Uh, well, that's a good point. Maybe we'll use the oil paints just for that. I don't know. I say no. No yes. acrylics? I mean, I say no to oil. Oh yeah, the oil was so bad and it's like stained our sink. So I'm not a fan of that oil paint. We will call it a night tonight then. Have courage and be kind. Don't forget to like this video. Give us a thumbs up. We appreciate that. And share it. Say, hey, best friend, look at these people. They're really funny. We can only assume that part of the reason we're getting so many followers, I mean, like, we're getting 100 a day. Yeah. Is because you're sharing these videos, and we appreciate that. Yeah, we do. Thanks. Okay. Like, share, share, and subscribe. I cannot Sub -share. talk ever. And this is the subscribe. third day I've done that. Like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't. If you're a newcomer and watching this video, subscribe to our channel. Have a good night, everyone. Bye.